Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, and I have started watching Doctor Who Series 2. Um, it's been a while since I did Series 1, but, you know, it's kind of, I kind of wanted to wait a little bit till I had the time to talk about 13 episodes. Uh, it'll probably take me around three weeks to finish the season, um, so just expect Doctor Who videos about four times a week for the next three weeks. That'll be, that'll be really fun, no, 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 no. Um... So, New Oath. New Oath is the Season 2 premiere. Um, it's a fairly simple premiere because it doesn't have to introduce a new Doctor or a new companion. I did like the idea of them introducing Tenet in the Christmas special. I think that would work much better. Um, that does work better. And I think Tenet is really good in this episode. Uh, he gets a lot of moments to shine. Uh, he, he seems like he's been a Doctor for a long time. Because Tenet's just that good in a role. But also, he has this freshness to him. This eagerness to, like, explore new places. Um, so I think he does that balance really well. Uh, the special effects are noticeably silly in this episode. With the CGI ships and city. And the elevator shaft was very, um, <laughs> very silly stuff. But the plot made up for it. Um, it wasn't the most, like, intriguing plot. It was a little bit predictable how they just cured everybody like that. Um, Cassandra, I like her better on her second appearance than in her first appearance. I think she's better utilized here. Um, I, I, there's a lot of moments of comedy where she goes inside Rose and she goes inside the Doctor. Uh, and the chemistry between them is really funny. Like it's nice to see <laughs> it's nice to see Billy Piper play somebody who isn't Rose. I wonder if we'd ever see that again. Um, same with Tenet, playing somebody who's not Tenet. I wonder if we'll see that again. Um, and Cassandra actually has a really nice ending, you know? When she realizes it's, while she's in her assistant's body that it's maybe time for her to die. So the doctor, um, takes her to see herself in the past. And we see that the only person in Cassandra's life she's ever... So, genuine, true, kindnessful is herself. Though she didn't know it at the time, that it was a future of rules and a fool. Which is kind of, um, it's kind of a sad, but fitting end to a character arc. Um, cause, it turns out, like, maybe she isn't all bad. But then again, she was only being nice to herself, even though she didn't know it. A very ironic ending. Um, the stuff with, like, the zombies fused with every disease known to man is a bit strange to me um because you only get infected by them if they touch you so does that exclude every disease that's airborne um i'm i'm a little bit confused how they work this is that not included in every single disease known to man or by then our airborne disease is just not a thing i mean it's thousands of years in the future so we don't really know um, but I wish they would have had a line, you know, clarifying that. Like, Wells is like, heavy disease? What about airborne diseases? And then a doctor would be like, oh, those aren't a thing by now. I just think it's kind of a plot hole. Um, but, uh, the design is kind of creepy. I like how the episode goes from being campy and silly to being grotesque and creepy at the slot of a hat. I think that's really funny. Um, it's like a season 24 Sylvester McCoy episode was written by, like, Robert Holmes or something. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a decent episode. Not the best, not the worst. Decent way to start off the season. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a solid episode. I'm gonna give it a C. Uh, I'll be reviewing Tooth and Claw on Monday, so if you wanna see that video, then click below and subscribe. But in the meanwhile, I hope everybody out there has a nice day and stay safe and peace.